Hi fashion sewers, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you tools that you'll need for sewing knitted and stretched fabrics. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Here we have two sewing feet. The first one is what you will call a regular sewing foot and that one you use for most sewing projects. The second one is a plastic foot and as you can see they're very similar in shape. The reason why we use a plastic foot for sewing knit and stretch fabric is so that it can glide over the fabric a lot more easier. Now this is what I would consider the most important tool when sewing knit or stretch fabric is the ballpoint needle. And the reason why it's called a ballpoint needle is the very tip here, and I know you won't be able to see, it's actually rounded instead of pointed. For most sewing projects we'll actually use a pointed needle. But this one's rounded and the reason why is that we don't want to damage the fibre of the actual fabric. So this allows for more regular stitching when you actually come to join your seams. But if you were using a pointed one on stretchy fabrics, which I'll show you in a minute, you'll see the difference. And the final tool is the twin needle. You can actually get twin needles for stretch fabrics, and in this case, these are for stretch fabrics and knitted fabrics. And you actually use them for turning up hems, so you get two rows of straight stitching on top, on the right side of your fabric, and on the neath side of the fabric, you get a zigzag effect. And I just want to mention the thread that I would advise for knitted and stretched fabric. It's 100% polyester. And the reason being, it gives, there's this bit of stretch in there and it's strength. So do bear that in mind when working with knitted and stretched fabric. Go for 100% polyester. I hope I've made things a little bit clearer as to the tools required for sewing knit and stretched fabrics. Happy fashion sewing and I'll see you next time.